is. All right, out on a Friday night stealther. Uh, it's going to be another rooftop, hopefully. Um, parking this parking lot. I've got about a quarter mile to walk. But first, I'm going to go to that little gas station right there and get some beer for tonight. So let's go. Yep. Okay, that's my goal right there, but I'm not going to go behind it right now. Because there's a lot of traffic. There are cameras on that light pole over there, but I don't know if they work or... I don't even know if the place even has power anymore, but... I mostly just don't want to see people at the stoplight looking at me going around behind the building. So there's a little path here to the right I'm going to take and then hopefully go up through the woods and get up to the building that way. Actually, somebody was just telling me about this tunnel today. Wow. Never really knew this was here. There's a actually a pretty well-used looking path up above this tunnel, but let's check this out real quick. Nineteen oh something looks like maybe seven was there. See, there used to be train tracks that went across there because that's all pretty much gone now, other than the rail hanging midair. I assume this was probably part of the train system originally too. But wow, that's really cool. I don't know if I want to stay down here because it's probably fairly active. There's see it's like something's driven down in here not recently but not too long ago. So there's actually train tracks up top up there. But yeah, I'm gonna try to get up this little hill onto that path. Which will hopefully get me behind the building. Huh. All right. Let's see if I can get up this hill. Ow! <laughs> right. I'll lean forward so I don't fall backwards. Uh, okay. Looks like a lot of deer come up through here. There we go.
can't see the road there, so I'm gonna go quickly. Here we go. Now I'm protected. A lot of trash back here. Wouldn't be surprised if somebody was living back here at one time. Hot water heater. It's a little thing to give you to pay to receipt. And that's where I'm going up. So I can get up that without my backpack on, but I'm gonna find probably take one of these buckets and put it over here so I can get up easier. Okay. Let's get up this. Ooh. be a little visible for a minute. Nope, not liking that. Okay. All right, okay. I gotta go. Oh, oh and they can see me over there too. Hopefully they weren't paying attention. Looking at traffic. Not looking over here. All right, backpack is off. Still a little visible right there in traffic stops. So I'm just kind of leaning up against this wall. I think I'm gonna try to get right over there behind the AC unit. This wall will block the other way. I just need to go when there's no traffic there. So let me work on that. And then I'll bring you back. Okay, so I'm beside this AC unit. I'm kind of just stuck in this little corner right now until it gets dark, because... Oh. You see, there's traffic right over there. Around that, and then this way. traffic that way so I got this one little spot for now Whew. until it gets dark so while I'm waiting let's have a Star Hill Northern Lights IPA hopefully I don't know, I was gonna say, hopefully you see some trains, but I don't know how active this line is. It's like right there on the hill. It might just go to these industrial park buildings over there. If that's the case, then there won't be anything coming through, which I think it probably does. I don't think that's like a main uh, connector line or anything like that. So there might not be any trains, but that's fine. It's a rooftop and there's lots of traffic around. We'll take a look a little bit more once it gets dark because I can't do it right now because I will definitely get spotted. Salancha. Mm. It's actually really warm right now. Too warm for all these clothes, but I didn't have room to pack them. I think right now it's about 
57, which is that Celsius. But the temperature's going to drop quick tonight. By morning, it's supposed to be 28 degrees Fahrenheit, which is that Celsius. So it's going to be a cold one. But I've got the down sleeping bag, the good sleep mat. It should be fine. But there will be traffic noise all night because this is kind of a main road that connects to our expressway. So it will definitely be some traffic all night. Hopefully it'll die down by the time I go to bed, but we'll see. Okay, I got the tent out, so I'm gonna go ahead and probably set it up right over here, kind of out of the way. You can't see it, and then once it gets dark, I may move it this way a little bit. But I'm just gonna stay low right over here, just kind of slowly set it up. Because it's still, still too light to really move anywhere out of this area right here. But I think I can get a little bit done while I'm just hanging out. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, tent is up. Not in its final location. It'll eventually be right over here, I think. But for now, it's still too light, although it is past sunset, another 15 minutes or so until last light. Fortunately, there is that light right there that I assume is going to be on all night, which that's awesome. I guess, okay, maybe it means I may have to use my own lights as much, which is good. Yeah, so I'm still just waiting. Waiting until it's dark enough to actually finish setting up. I'm going to put a mat down here, put a tent on. Then I'll put my pad and sleeping bag and pillow and everything in there. Then, after it gets dark, Okay, so that is active. Sweet. All right, everything's set up. So I have to be really careful with the light. Yep. Sleeping bag is lofting. The mat. It's all ready. I don't know if you can see it, but the tent is right there. Chair and everything. Okay, let's look around a little bit. There is definitely something dead in the woods behind this place. Every once in a while I get a horrible smell. Not liking that. Another light here. There's two. 
really bright lights on this property. Which I guess means the place has electricity. Okay, it is about 20 minutes after 6. It's already down to 45 degrees Fahrenheit, which is that Celsius. So it's time for a ramble on. Again, if you don't know the Ramblers, which is the channel that Eric and I have where we do urbex and abandoned exploration, I'll put a link to that channel in the description below. Check it out. Some really good stuff. Cilantro. Yeah, temperature is dropping pretty quick. I think maybe around seven ish. I'll go ahead and make some dinner. Uh, still, it's a little difficult to move around on the roof too much just because of the, the two big lights in the parking lot on each end of the building. But it's not too bad. I don't think anyone really paid that much attention. But I still have to be careful. I'm trying to keep the red light kind of low and blocked from both directions of or three directions of traffic. But yeah, I'm going to sit, enjoy this, maybe watch a little YouTube, and I'll bring you back when it's dinner time. All right, I've got the propane again. Not so needed right now, but in the morning, it's going to be below freezing. So I want to make sure this works really well. Got my diffuser plate. For dinner, I have a veggie Italian sausage. And I think this is goat cheese and onion pierogies. So let's get this going. I'm gonna get these off and get the pierogies on. Hey, smells fantastic. Oh, oh let's see if I can 
show this to you. There you go. It's hard to see anything I'm trying to keep the lights so low. Let's give this a try. Mm. Oh yeah, there's nothing like it. A good hot meal on a cold night. Stealth camping. Just can't beat it. Probably should have waited till closer to bedtime because usually good to eat something hot before you get in. Try to go to sleep on a cold night, but it's pretty hungry. Mmm. Those pierogies are fantastic. All right, so I'm going to eat dinner. And maybe we'll look around a little bit more. Probably watch some more YouTube. Okay, Ho Jangle Heroes, I am heading to bed. It is about 34 degrees Fahrenheit, which is what, one degree Celsius, something like that. So I'm um, snuggled in the sleeping bag and I will see you in the morning. Good night. It is cold out now. It's 28 degrees Fahrenheit, which is, what is that? Negative two, negative three, right there. Anyway, I've got to get up, make some coffee. Well, everything is frost covered out there. 
Come on. I gotta get up and get moving. Let's go. Yep, it's frosty. Okay, so it's actually 27 degrees Fahrenheit. So yeah, it's really cold. Hot coffee is nice. It's kind of worried when the water was getting hot and steam was going up. It's like, oh, someone might think that's a fire. But it's okay, because I'm not cooking breakfast. I just have a Laura bar. So I'm gonna eat that and then get this tent down and start packing everything into the backpack so I can get out of here. I'm ready to warm up. Although I was really toasty in that uh, Thermo Rest sleeping bag. I think it's great. It's really warm in there last night. See? So yeah. Bring you back in a few. Okay. Almost everything's packed up. Except for one important piece right there. Never leave that behind. But yeah, I'm gonna grab that and then work my way down. Traffic's starting to pick up. It is almost nine o'clock and it just got above freezing. Yay. Still feels really cold. Everything's still pretty frosty. Especially here in the shade. But yeah, I'm gonna grab the old Jolly Roger there and get out of here. Saw a cop come down the road. I think he went on. But I want to move these buckets so it doesn't look like anybody's been up here. moved out of the way. Let's take a peek in here. Christmas tree. This old junk from the restaurant. No, I do not think the hostess will be seating me anytime soon. This building has been several restaurants over the last 20 years, and a couple of them did well for quite a while. Just nothing ever seemed to stay. It seems like it's in a good location. Maybe just bad management, high lease, I don't know. 
but I'm going to go out the way I came in. I'm going to walk through the middle of that parking lot with the traffic out there. So I'll go back down this trail. Maybe we'll check out that tunnel real quick before I leave. I think this is where I came up. Trying to slide down, bust my ass. Easy. Okay, let's check out this tunnel. Oh, there's a big apartment complex. Huh. Well, that is somebody's little fort. That's kind of cool. I wonder if, like, Neighborhood kids built that. Oh, there's pizza boxes up there. Yeah. Okay, it's time to get back to the car. I climb up this, the hill up this little uh, trail access road, whatever this thing is. Back up the road and to the parking lot. Okay. If I could get a ladder down here. That sign looks like it would be awesome. Huh. Okay, that's where I was. Pretty good one. It's definitely uh, HRS and I couldn't move around much. Even at night, there's so much traffic on this road. But still, it's fun. And I'm really glad it's above freezing now. kind of see the edge of that black part to the old AC unit. It's right behind that. Of course, there's the train tracks. They're right beside, actually. 
It's a train right there. Sweet. There you go, another queen of the rooftop episode. If you liked it, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. It's free, it really helps the channel. I'll see you in the next one, bye.